So let's go ahead and change the volume, but this time let's use a volume envelope. So what I'm going to do is right click the track header, go to where it says insert and remove envelopes, and here there's a few choices, mute, volume, and pan, and then we'll talk about automation in a few minutes here. So let's go ahead and add a volume envelope, and you can see now the audio track has a blue line centered up running along from beginning to end. So let's go ahead and make the track a little bigger so we can see what's going on a little better. The blue line is going to represent one of the ways that we can adjust the volume here. And so I'm going to hover the mouse right over the line. It's going to tell me volume. You see also at the very beginning there's a little box here and that's a node or an envelope point. And you can see that the volume at 000, which we're at the very beginning of the timeline here, is showing as 0 dB, no change. Well, what if we drag up this line? I'm just going to grab it and drag it. And you can see as it drags, it's reading out a difference in the decibel level. Okay, so now playing that back. It's going to play at that new louder volume. But that really hasn't changed anything in terms of changing this over time. What we really want to do, let's say, is start it real soft and then let it get loud from there. So what I'm going to do is double click on the line and that will create another little point or node here. And now if you click and drag that node, you can see now we're starting to get a change in the volume. I'll double click again, put another node in, drag that up, and remember that the center point is really what it would be playing at if we weren't fooling around with the uh, volume envelope here. So if you drag it all the way up, that's going to be louder than what the default was, and below that center line is less volume. So let's go ahead and bring it up. I'm going to drag this out a little bit so we can hear the volume change. Okay, let's put in a couple more points. And drag these around. And so what we expect to hear is the volume going up, staying at that level for a moment, and then dropping again. Now remember the beauty of Vegas is that we can actually make changes while the playback is occurring. So as this is playing, I'm going to add points and move them around. So that's pretty handy. You can actually dynamically hear it playing back and also adjust the points. And there's a few ways besides just dragging them up and down that we can fine tune the position of the points. For one thing, you can right click and you can set it to a preset amount here, or you can decide to set it to a specific amount. And let's just set that to 0.7 and it moves just a little bit because it was at 0.6 before. Another nice way you can fine tune these is click on the point and use your 8 and 2 keys on your numeric keypad to move it up and down. So just like events move up and down with 8 and 2, so do the points. So I'm going to click on the point, hit the 8 key, it goes up a little bit each time. Now hit the 2 key and it's going down.